because any newcomer will go to their website and say, hey, I want a uh, machine. And then you're bombarded with all these options and you don't know what the heck you need. Do you really need two Nespresso machines? This is like one of the top questions that I've gotten on Instagram and on YouTube. I'm gonna answer them today and I hope whatever I have to say helps you when deciding whether you need to upgrade to two machines. So let's get started with this video. Okay, so just a little backstory of how I even ended up with these two machines. I started out with the Mini Essenza. Right now I have the Essenza Plus, but the Essenza Mini is super similar. The Essenza Plus is discontinued now, I don't know why, but if I had to do it all over again, I would again purchase the Essenza Mini. I had that one and then last year, was it last year? Yeah, I think it was last year. I saw the Nespresso Virtuo Next on sale and it was super cheap. So I ended up getting that one. And when I received it, I was thinking I'm going to get rid of my Essenza Mini because now I have the Virtuo Next. I don't really need the Essenza Mini. Honestly, I just never got around to getting rid of it. Nobody, I don't think I asked anybody if they wanted it. And honestly, at the time, Nespresso wasn't as popular, so I don't think anybody would have taken it. As time went on, I started noticing some differences between both lines, and that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about today. And obviously, I ended up keeping it, and I don't regret it. I love having both machines. So let's get started with what Nespresso says is the actual difference, because that's another like kind of sub question that I've gotten. What's the difference with both machines? I'm gonna read to you guys what Nespresso says about each machine. I'll try to put a little bit on the, you know what, I'm gonna stand on this side so that I have enough room to put the information. There's an actual tab that says, what is the difference? Because any newcomer will go to their website and say, hey, I want a uh, machine. And then you're bombarded with all these options and you don't know what the heck you need. Two unique coffee experiences. So right off the bat, they're telling you that each line has a unique coffee experience. So for example, with, with the Virtuo line, it says that it's the ultimate coffee experience and I agree because if you were to ask me which one is best, I like drinking all kinds of coffee. I would definitely say, hey, just go to the Virtuo line because then you, you kind of have best of both worlds. So with the Virtuo, you get a full range of coffee sizes. You can get, if you have the Virtuo next, you can get a carafe size a 14 ounce, an eight ounce, a five ounce, 2.7 ounce, and then 1.35 ounces, which would be your espresso. According to Nespresso, the Virtua line is perfect for those of you guys that like to enjoy coffee as well as espresso based drinks. And I love all kinds of coffee. So when I started using the Virtua line, I liked the flexibility of being able to use these coffee pods. For example, this is vanilla custard pie and it's brewed like kind of like a drip style coffee. It's a lot better quality in my opinion than any Keurig k-cup that you would use but that's essentially what it is comparable to because it is not an espresso drink so the virtual gives you that option but it also gives you a um what is it a uh, espresso based drink options as well for example this is an espresso shot that you can also brew with the virtual line and then if you have the virtual next you can do huge amounts of coffee with the carafe size capsules and then um, you can also do like alto pods, which I think they're gonna get rid of, but I think they're ringing more, I'm not quite sure. But that just goes to show the Virtua line is gonna give you a wider variety of coffees. What's nice with the Virtua line, and they actually say it here, you still get that nice crema with um, their big coffee capsules and whether it's espresso or coffee mug size capsules, you still get a really nice Crema. The Virtua line also has a different way of brewing where the machine will actually read the barcode of each pod and know exactly the type of brew that they're going to do. So with this pod, if I were to put it in the Virtua line, they know exactly how much water they need because of the pod's barcode. So that's another thing. Um, you don't ever have to worry about pressing like what specific pod you're going to use. Kind of like the original with the original line. I'll talk a little bit about that. But with the Virtua line, Honestly, it's just one button. You put the capsule in there and it already knows what type of brew it's going to need to make for that pod. With the Virtual line, you have, according to their website, over 30 coffee blends to choose from. And they're obviously different sizes. There's not like 30 espressos. There's 30 all, all around variety of coffee. 
with the original light i think there's more but you know just to kind of give you an idea you know with something that i never really paid attention to the unique barcode adjusts the flow and the volume of water as well as a temperature infusion time and capsule rotation to make the best part of your coffee experience so i don't know i guess depending on the capsule it says that it also changes the temperature of the coffee it changes the way pretty much it's brewed so that's very interesting to to note and yes all of the capsules whether it's virtual or original you can recycle so that's kind of like the gist of the virtual line that's honestly what it is it just gives you a wider variety of coffee if you have the original line and feel stuck like you want a bigger cup of coffee that's not necessarily an espresso drink then hey maybe you do want to have two machines all right let's go on to original line so the original line is pretty much the espresso based line if you like lattes macchiatos all of that type of stuff then i think original line is what you're going to want to do the most even okay and here it is even if you already have the virtual line and say well i already can do espresso drinks with my virtual line yes you can but if you are a true like if you really like just to explore all the different types of flavors and intensities and just kind of worldwide coffee espresso wise then i think you're going to want to consider having a uh, original line machine here's why cafecino do brazil i just reviewed this capsule and it is by far one of my favorite capsules quickly one of my favorite capsules it is really delicious and i would have never been able to experience this espresso capsule if all i had was the virtual line because Nespresso likes to do these things where they'll sometimes still like release, you know, for both lines to try. For example, they came out with La Cumplida Refinada. I don't know if it's available anymore, but that one was an exceptional capsule as well. And they made it for Virtuo and Original. For some reason, Brazil, and Nespresso only has it exclusively for the Original line. So Virtuo line users, unless you have an original line you can't try the cafecino do brazil capsule which is so good and so even though virtuo does give you the best of both worlds the array of options is a lot bigger with the original line so with the original line um you can do espressos ristrettos longos and then they're gonna allow you to do coffee recipes such as cappuccinos lattes or ice lattes you can do ice lattes with the virtual line too as long as you have an espresso pod you can do ice latte here with the original line you have over 30 coffee blends to choose from but keep in mind those 30 coffee blends are not dispersed within different coffee sizes they're all espresso drinks and then some of them are longos but they're espresso based capsules so like i said you just get a wider variety of espresso so again, going back, and I think that's all like the information that I wanted to share. It does talk slightly a little bit about like a difference in how the actual espresso is brewed. It says that the original machine uses a high pressure 19 bar extraction system to release the fresh aromas from each capsule. I don't know exactly what the virtual line does, but to me, the way that Nespresso paints a picture of the original line, it just makes it seem like if you are like just more invested in espresso based drinks then i think you'd be just good to go with um the original line and that's all you need because you just get a better experience if you like the variety then just virtual but just keep in mind that if you have virtual and you feel like you want to try everything that espresso has to offer then i think you wouldn't benefit from having the original line and i'm going to give you just kind of like my point of view of having both machines like i said i started with the original line and then I ventured into the Virtua line and I was happy keeping both. But there are certain things that I wanted to mention. For example, this one is the vanilla custard pie pod. And this one is gonna brew almost eight ounces of coffee, which is amazing. I tend to mix these, or lately I've been mixing these with creamer. But if I want that like flavor, of the vanilla like a vanilla based espresso i can't get it with this because the virtual line only offers this size coffee um pod and not an espresso based vanilla capsule and that's why i like having the original line because honestly if i had to choose between these two this one is by far my favorite 
This one is called Vanilla Eclair and it's an espresso capsule from their Barista Creations and it is so good for vanilla iced lattes with French vanilla from Onin. It is really good. A little bit of oat milk, it's so good. So it just changes the experience and it's not something that you can get within the Vertool line. You could mimic something different, like something similar. Like I would maybe just do the Volteso espresso pot, but you would have to do two. And then a little bit of oat milk, a little bit of French vanilla syrup, and it'll be something similar. But guys, if you haven't tried the vanilla eclair from the original line, it is so good. So, so good. I love it. I love it. So there is a big difference. I think that's all I wanted to touch base on. And so if you have the Vertual line, because I know most of you guys have the Vertual line, do you need an original line? You don't really need it unless you just really love, 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 love espressos and just want to have that option of trying more variety. If you have the original line and you want to know if you need the Vertua line, you don't really need it unless you want to try those big coffee capsules. And I think that's what differentiates the thing. Now, if you are going to get um, either or, I would obviously recommend the machines that I have. I love my Virtua Plus. Like I said, I started with the Virtua Next and I I hate that machine. Till this day, it's just, I've gotten so many bad reviews from you guys that have it, telling me that it's leaking, that it's doing this and that. The problem that mine had was that it was leaking from the bottom and it started getting like moldy in the drip tray and I just didn't like that. And it's just like a very tedious machine. If you're gonna go over the Virtua way, I would definitely say get the Virtua Plus. Um, or any other machine that's not the next. I just don't like that machine. <laughs> and then if you have the Virtual line, but you want to go into the original line, I think for sure start out with the Mini Essenza. I think it's a wonderful machine. It made perfect lattes, and I've had that. I had that machine for a long time before I ended up getting the Essenza Plus. But like I said, that one's discontinued already. So Mini Essenza for Tool Plus. So yes, I hope this information helped you guys out in deciding what machine you need or if you need both machines, let me know in the comment section below. What are you guys gonna do after I told you all this spiel? Um, are you gonna get another machine or are you just gonna stay put with what you have? And let me know what machine you have. Do you have the Virtual line or do you have the original line? That concludes this video. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.